Thanks, Rob. Well, I can't compete with beer, but um, I did present a little wine and cheese there, so maybe it's a second best. So, <laughs> um, but thanks so much uh, for having me here today, and uh, Rob, thanks for the nice introduction. One correction, though, I did move from Dallas to LA about a year ago, and um, who can turn down sun and ocean, right? So yeah, so I'm uh, a, thank you, permanent resident here in Los Angeles. Um, so, you know, what an honor to share the stage with so many wonderful people here today, and, um, and congratulations to Stella and her team for the, uh, the award, and uh, just another round of applause for everybody. Thank you very much. Yeah. So for those of you who may vis be visiting uh, Los Angeles for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to the City of Angels. There's really so many reasons to select LA, and a place that's full of adventure and beauty, and one that's teeming with opportunities for businesses and careers to flourish. Some describe Los Angeles as a city of cities, and it's so true. There are somewhere around 90 cities across more than 4,000 square miles in our county, which that blows me away. Um, an area that's larger than the states of Delaware and Rhode Island combined. So pretty amazing that, that uh, the city of Los Angeles can fit in that, in that area. So it may not be surprising that it's also home to the third largest metropolitan economy in the world, with a population of 10 million and a GDP of over 700 billion. That's more than we're putting into the airport, Rob. So yeah. <laughs> to put that in perspective, if it were a country, Los Angeles would rank ahead of nations including Poland, Belgium, and Argentina. I always have to pause for a second when I hear those numbers because they're really incredible. But beyond the sheer size, which is pretty amazing in itself, what I find most amazing about Los Angeles is that every inch of it is unique in its own way. There's a place for everyone here. Well, it's not just the scenery that's diverse, the people and the culture are as well. People from virtually every ethnic, social, and religious background have created vibrant communities here, and together have helped to create the rich world culture we all enjoy so much. Like Mayor Garcetti, I believe, as do all of us at American Airlines, that Los Angeles is the premier gateway for the global economy and an increasingly attractive destination for international tourism. If you don't believe it, just look at the numbers. During a time when tourism to the United States is generally down, this city enjoyed its seventh straight year of record-breaking tourism growth in 2017, welcoming 7.1 million international visitors. That's a clear sign that despite what those around the world might think about what's happening in Washington, D.C. right now, Los Angeles is still headed in the right direction in this increasingly global marketplace. Airlines and airports are extremely important to helping any regional economy grow, but they're especially important in the global city like Los Angeles. One of the most important things our team members at American Airlines do, and that list is long, um, is bringing people together. We fly over borders, walls, and stereotypes to connect people from different races, religions, nationalities, economic backgrounds, and sexual orientations. We make the world a smaller, more inclusive place. And we do it professionally and safely every day for more than 500,000 customers across five continents. We also know how important Los Angeles is both to the United States and the entire world. And that's why we're committed to growing and strengthening our hub here at LAX through significant direct and indirect investments. Although American Airlines is technically headquartered in Dallas, one could say that we've selected LA, get it, <laughs> as our second hometown. 
Today, American is the largest carrier at LAX, with nearly 200 daily flights to, set, to 70 destinations on five continents. It serves as our gateway to Asia Pacific, as well as many other parts of the world. Since 2015, we've added service to 25 new destinations, including several of the world economy's major marketplaces, such as Sydney, Hong Kong, Tokyo Haneda Airport, Beijing, Auckland New, Zealand, or Auckland, New Zealand, and most recently, Buenos Aires, making ours the first and only airline to offer nonstop service from Los Angeles to Argentina's capital city when we launched this December. And last September, we announced a $1.6 billion investment in LAX's terminals four and five to create a world-class experience for the 16.5 million American customers who travel there each year and our nearly 7,000 team members who call the LA Hub home. That's a particularly important investment and LA is already the world's fourth busiest airport. And as trade and tourism continue to boom here, volume at the airport is similarly increasing. Consider that in 2009, 57 million passengers traveled through LAX. Last year, that number reached 85 million. And by 2027, the year before this city hosts the Olympic Games, LAX is forecast to handle 107 million passengers per year. The amount of cargo coming through LAX, there's the cargo part of my former job, <laughs> is, uh, is also booming. Between 2015 and 2017, Americans' cargo volume at LAX increased by a whopping 121%. Although it's geographically the smallest operation in our system here at LAX, we moved more than 100,000 tons of cargo here last year the third most in the entire American Airlines network, and happy to say that a lot of that cargo stays right here in the Los Angeles area. Let me take a second to point out that all of this is happening in the same physical space at Los Angeles, and even though passenger and cargo volume is more than doubling in record speed, the size of the airport itself will remain the same. American and the numerous other airlines who operate here, as well as our partners at Los Angeles World Airways, must find ways to not just accommodate this growth, but also to improve the airport experience, which so often shapes the all-important first impression for those who travel with, to our city. Together, we're working with our partners at LA World Airports to make sure LAX leaves a positive, lasting impression. We will soon begin construction on our portion of the automated people mover, a two plus mile electric train system with an elevated guideway that will connect three stations outside the terminal loop and three inside. Once it's fully operational in 2023, an estimated 30 million passengers per year will have the option to leave their cars at home and help reduce traffic in and around the airport. And thanks to the use of cutting edge sustainability practices, like fully electric powered train cars, the people mover will further reduce the airport area's carbon footprint by offsetting the carbon equivalent of 12 million vehicle miles driven. It's a lot of miles. And we're also partnering on the Guest Experience Partners Council that LAWA supports and brings together a group of key stakeholders at LAX to focus on innovative ways to improve the customer experience and minimize any impacts to travelers during construction. The results from this collaboration are already being realized. New smart restroom technology, which you may have uh, seen recently launched on the news, um, was first introduced in Terminal 4, and it allows real-time feedback from customers on the cleanliness of our facilities. 
So we know this market presents some unique challenges for our airline, but we also know that in every challenge there lies great opportunity. And that's exactly what exists here in Los Angeles, boundless opportunity to build on our storied history in Southern California and a chance to be catalysts for its bright future. When I travel, which is pretty often in my line of work, I often pass a banner that hangs in Terminal 5 at Los Angeles, which reads, what's your LA story? The American Airlines Los Angeles story currently stretches more than 90 years, and we're poised to continue for what we hope to be at least another 90 years. So I'd like to close by asking those of you who are here visiting with us for the first time, what will your LA story be? If you look around the room, I'm sure you'll find more stories like Americans that will inspire you to join us and so many others who have selected LA. And we hope that you will select AA for your airline of choice to get to Los Angeles. Thanks again for having me here today, and please enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you.